All right, guys, welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio. I'm Charlie and McGrath, the 26th day of February, Tuesday. And joining us now, first of all, I want to thank uh, the callers on the last hour, Gary Hindershaw for hanging out with me, and, of course, Doug Owen for uh, joining me for that uh, last half hour as well. Uh, if you're not in the chat room, get in there. Uh, we have about 60 people in there right now. In just a few minutes, we're going to bring on uh, a leader in the uh, field of uh, the Liberty Movement, as well as a very uh, talented musician. And uh, you don't want to miss this. And we're going to give out information uh, in there on where you can hear him. He's going to perform for us a little bit tonight. But I'm, I'm, what I'm afraid of is that, that the, the Skype quality sound uh, isn't going to be uh, anything as close to uh, what I've heard from him uh, on some of the videos he has up on his YouTube channel. Uh, but uh, Jordan Page, uh, welcome to Wide Awake News Radio. It's uh, it's a real uh, pleasure to have you on here. I've seen your work. Uh, you know, you're. We were talking before the before the uh, beginning of this segment um, that you're up on uh, Next News Network. You've been at scores and scores of uh, different Liberty and Freedom uh, concerts uh, all across this country. So it's a real pleasure to get you on the program. Oh, thanks so much, Charlie. Thanks for having me on. No, no problem whatsoever. Uh, the website is jordanpagemusic.com. I put that link into the chat room. Tell me a little bit about uh, about what you're doing. I mean, obviously, you're a rocker. You look like a rocker. You're sporting the... Uh, I took my hat off, as you saw, because I had a caller last hour that said I need to let my hair grow out. And I said, no, man, you're missing the point. This is the Armageddon do. This is the taking freedom <laughs> back do. Matter of fact, it's a little bit long compared to yours. <laughs> Tell me how you got into this. Well, you know, I was I was touring and and just doing the rock and roll thing. You know, make just a just uh, mainstream or or were you? Yeah, just playing okay. music and 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 just touring, doing my own stuff and and doing doing some, you know bar shows and and and, uh, and playing some big big club shows all over the country. But I wasn't really getting anywhere that that. That was significant. I, I didn't feel good about what I was doing. It was just sort of what everyone was doing. And then, um, you know, I, I've always had a, a you know, a, a spiritual calling, and and you know, my, my uh, not I, I had I had no idea what was going on in the world. It was, it was my biggest problem. And right. I I had a, an epiphany one night, and. I, it was about three o'clock in the morning. George Bush had it was the end of two thousand six, and George Bush had given some awful speech, and he gave me nightmares. And I woke up and I wrote a song uh, around three o'clock in the morning, and, and the song was called Pendulum. Um, I think you have a copy of it. And absolutely, yeah. The, uh, you know, I didn't understand what the song was about. Like I said, I wrote it half asleep, but I started playing it, and I started getting extreme reactions. So I realized that I'd been kind of given a given a gift and a message, and that I had to take it to the people. And then uh, you mentioned Gary Franchi, Next News Network. Well, Gary uh, was the, it still is the uh, national director of Restore the Republic, and he got wind of the song, and XM Radio got wind of the song. That XM Radio played it for like two years, and the the Liberty Movement found me, and I started learning. I mean, I spent all of 2007 with my tinfoil hat secured firmly on my head and you know I, I, I just absorbed as much information as I could and I realized that I had you know woken up out of a, out of a slumber of a stupor more like it of, of apathy and, and misinformation and I started to really contemplate and, and wrap my mind around the, the magnitude of the lack of education I'd had in public school and in college um, and so I started just reading any book I could get my hands on, watching every documentary I ever made, talking to as many people as I could, and, and just learning as much as I could. And I'm writing songs in the, in the same time. I came to a lot of conclusions about war and you know, how wars are started and who benefits from them and the, the human toll. And, and, and I, I stopped sitting on the bench, and I stood up, and I started speaking out. And then you know I, I met Ron Paul at the end of his first campaign, and mm -hmm. I kept the Learning with you know my buddies like Adam Kokesh and you know Sheriff Mack and Stuart Rhodes from Oath Keepers and Ernie Hancock, mm -hmm. from Phoenix. you know all these people, you know fueled my passion and my you know and my development as an activist. And I've just been uh, you know rocking out all over the country. I've I've, I've headlined over 200 Liberty concerts and I opened for Ron Paul uh, 15 times. 
most recently in, at Tampa and the RNC when they or the the anti RNC I should say yeah. for about twelve thousand people. So I've done a lot done a lot of great shows and I've got amazing fans and amazing friends in this movement and um, I'm I'm one voice among many. There's a lot of amazing liberty artists that are talking about freedom and we're all universally being rejected by you know the labels because of our message. Um, I, 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 I've had a several managers who have shopped me to dip to major labels and they all love me and would have signed me except for what I'm singing about, <laughs> you know? And so, yeah, you really, you know, that, that's interesting. Um, because even, you know, how do you, how do you, how do they even try to market that? Because it's all about marketing. Um, sure. you know, obviously you're doing this for, for the right reasons. You're inspired and you're called to do this. And I personally believe it's the right thing to be, you know, the, 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 the most important issues of the day. I love it that you're putting that into music because everything else, once you're awake, once you realize what's happening and how deep, uh, how deep the corruption runs in D.C., you know, how, how senseless the maiming and killing of not only our men and women, but people around the world is. It's really hard for you to pick up and sing about, you know, chasing chicks down at the bar or something like that, you know. Exactly. I mean, I, I, I can't go back. You know, I have, I have a song from the, for the new record called Writing on the Wall. And it's very much, I mean, it speaks right to the point. And it's the, the, one, of the, one of the last lines in the song is, you know, I, I can't go back to sleep or walk away. You know, and my, my life now, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm married and I have children, I have little children. And you know, the world that, that we create is the world they will inherit. That's right. And I want to be able to look them in the eye when, when they're 20 and say, I did what, everything I could to prevent, you know, bad things from happening. And right now, at this point in my life, I'm singing songs. And I'm trying to help to craft a message. As far as marketing the music, it's it's funny how short-sighted these people were in, in, in the, the big labels because my music appeals to lots of people even people that don't agree with me it appeals to them they, they they may not like my politics but they enjoy the song and over half the people in this country at least are pissed off about how things are and i'm yeah. thinking about how jacked up things are <laughs> you know so it's you know it, it, it it's a genre all into itself you know this this revolution music liberty music yeah you know, it, but with with what i find interesting maybe maybe disgusting about uh uh, any entertainment, right, um, industry, any segment of it, you know, and, and I'm listening to you talk here and I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, uh, if you, if you, it, it's just like being a voter. If you can't pigeonhole somebody into red team or blue team, then they're really, they're not an asset to the powers that be. They're a liability. It's, it's that independence uh, that is a problem for the status quo. So I'm sitting here listening to you talk and I'm like, well, you know, uh, you're talking about inspired, that kind of thing. And but you really don't fit into the the uh, I'm air quoting here for those of you not on just TV, the Christian right, because, you know, you might talk about uh, something that's uh, you know anti-war or anti-neocon or anti uh, something uh, that, uh, you know, that they're latching on to uh, as some kind of truth. Or, and, and or, 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 or. The Christian right doesn't that particularly enjoy uh, topics that are actually Christian most of the time. You know, I mean, yeah. they been pro death at the same time, and they don't want to hear that. You know, if Jesus showed up in the flesh, you know, they'd cast him out. I mean, they, like they booed Ron Paul for quoting Jesus several times. Yeah. So you know, but you know, there, there. I think there's hope for anyone, man. You know, from 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 the most hardened you know, liberal socialist to the most hardened far right neocon communist. I mean, it, that, it's you're you're 100 percent right. And and that's where, you know, uh, Jordan, that's where the danger is, because somebody like you with your music can open the eyes of people and have them realize that, you know, that they're if they're standing in the blue line or the red line, they're cattle, they're cattle, they're being used and manipulated. And at, at the head of this uh, trough, at the head of this uh, cattle shoot, are individuals who will say anything and do anything uh, in order to keep them placated and keep them quiet and realizing the true position that they're in. We're going to be back in just a few minutes with Jordan Page and more Wide Awake News Radio. Please hang tight. All right, guys, welcome back to Wide Awake News Radio. Um, because of the sound quality issues, uh, we had uh, Gary has uploaded uh, some tunes that we're going to play uh, from Jordan. The first one's going to be Pendulum. 
And then uh, later in the next segment, uh, we're going to play uh, Dragons. Is that right? That's right. All right, cool. Um, so, you know, we were talking a little bit, and I, I'm going to be really brief because I don't want to end up cutting this off. So why don't I just turn it over to you? Tell us a little bit about Pendulum. What inspired you? What's the song about? You know, the, the, the song, it's funny. There's a great story with Pendulum. I, I mentioned it briefly earlier just that I had woken up in the middle of the night after hearing a George Bush speech being completely politically illiterate, absolutely illiterate. And this, you know, very politically charged, profound song came out of me. And people were reacting to it in, in, in extremely passionate ways. And it showed me that I was a lot I was supposed to do. Um, a guy from XM Radio, Ted Kelly, who had uh, a show, uh, The Pop Heard Around the World, heard me play it at the Ram's Head in Annapolis, invited me to come on the show, and I played it live. And, you know, just started getting letters from all over the world, people who, you know, loved the song, understood what I was talking about. And then, uh, you know, I, like I said, I hooked up with Gary Franchi and all these Liberty Patriots, and they, they loved the song, and it really kind of catapulted me into the Liberty Movement. Um, Peter Yarrow from Peter, Paul, and Mary uh, heard the song, and um, he invited us to come up to his, to his uh, apartment in Manhattan. So uh, my wife and I went up there and hung out with him for a day, and, and I, he, he asked me to play it for him like four times. And, you know, the, the, the song, if you really look at the song, I realized this after I written it, it, it like the verses of the song are almost like answers to questions from the Bob Dylan song, A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. Where have you been, my blue-eyed son? I've been walking a tightrope between fact and fiction, so on and so forth. And so I didn't realize that as I had written it. I realized this, you know, maybe six months later. I told Peter about it, and he says, well, you know where Bobby got that song from? He got it from a, from a 15th century English folk song called Handle My Son. And, he, and then he picks up his guitar and starts playing it for me. So I'm sitting in this time warp where this, like, you know, civil rights icon from the 60s is playing me a song from the 15th century that Bob Dylan borrowed from to write his song, High Rain's Gonna Fall, that subconsciously influenced this new song that had changed my life. So it was, it was just an interesting uh, situation. But everyone, you know, universally, I think Pendulum has been one of my most you know, loved songs by, by people. And, and, uh, you know, it, 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 it literally changed my life from, from, you know, top to bottom. I'm a completely different person because of that song. So what do you think? We'll, Should we we'll, go ahead and spin it? Yeah, let, let's do it. And let me send this message to Brett, uh, at the rent studio. If the song isn't done playing, uh, can we, uh, can we hold off on the break until we get the, the, the full song in? So here is, uh, uh Jordan pages pendulum. All right, guys, it's 31 minutes after the hour, and obviously, if you're sitting in the chat or you're listening on Rinse or any of the other feeds picking this up, uh, you saw that, uh, or you heard, that it all went south on us. We had a, we had a failure, uh, a power failure uh, down at Hendershot Studio, and he got that fixed. We're still, uh, we're still connected with Rinse. Uh, so what I'm going to ask Brett to do at the Rinse Studio is uh, please, and this is going to screw up Gary Franchi, but I'm sorry, Gary, uh, please... Uh, 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 don't uh, don't have a break. This uh, third break, uh, we'll go ahead and run through that so we can play uh, both of these songs uh, in the time we have left. So we introduced uh, Pendulum, uh, and and uh, Jordan gave us uh, the background behind it. It was inspired. Uh, it was he was inspired to write it in, in the middle of a George W. Bush speech, uh, the, or after the uh, I should say the after effects of a George W. Bush speech, uh, which. Uh, we can get into that, but there's plenty of them that were enough to be uh, terrifying without a doubt. Uh, so let's <clears throat> let's go ahead and run Pendulum. We'll talk about it after it, and then we'll uh, we'll get the Dragon Hunter as well, and then talk about your upcoming uh, projects. Gary, run it. I've been walking a tightrope between fact and fiction. Been wrestling with demons in small bottled prisons. Been talking to sinners. Who claim to be Christian But shouting at leaders Who claim to be listening And the pendulum swings from the left to the right Its momentum increases The need for the fight Like a moment of blindness And a lifetime of sight And I am caught somewhere in the middle His people saw a camel pass through the eye of a needle. Saw a group of old men whose money was evil. Saw a cross breaking free from the cage of a steeple. Saw a beggar. 
Jordan Page, that's absolutely awesome. Uh, I, I love that song. I've heard it a number of times, and every time I do, I, I seriously, I, I you know, I'm, you're singing about the things, the same exact things that helped uh, get me into this movement, right? The same events that took place. Uh, you, you, you're talking about under George W. Bush. I go back even further. I was in in the first Gulf War, and everything that has happened uh, since then, you know, you bring out in that song, and it's absolutely wonderful. It's shocking to me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. To, can you hear me okay, Jordan? Jordan, you got me? I can hear you great. Okay, good. I got you. Okay. <laughs> I'm listening to the song, and I, I, I'm, 
you know, I, I know people that, that are in the industry hear that and they got to just think it's it's awesome. Right. They love it. They 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 they're just, it, I don't know if the, the purpose is uh, to sell records. I don't know why they wouldn't do this. There have been other so-called mainstream uh, bands. Uh, and, and I think Lincoln Park, you know, they sing a lot of stuff that was uh, not as in your face as as Pendulum. But they sing a lot of stuff that was uh, uh, anti, uh, you know, I, I thought it was directed directly towards uh, the Bush administration. You know, how come how come some get uh, uh, some get a pass and some don't? Is it your whole political or non-political ideology or your whole uh, stance that, the, you know, that the criminality runs deep in both parties? I mean, what's your take on that? Well, it's not, you know. It's not fashionable to be against Obama because that must mean you're a racist, you know. And even and when Obama was elected, I had a moment where I I, I thought I, I don't even know why I thought this because I knew better. But you know, maybe my my music's not going to be, you know, as accepted now as it is because everyone hates Bush. You know what you have with Bush with Obama, it's more of a, you know, a psyop, <laughs> and. Uh, but it, it, it became more relevant, you know, and, and he, he's been a, a bigger criminal. And but the problem is, is that Hollywood, the music industry, these are all very you know liberal institutions that support the new world order. I mean, let's let's just call a spade a spade. And, you know, look at what happened to the Dixie Chicks. You know, like that girl said, said she was ashamed the president was from Texas at some random show in London and they got banned from radio and they yeah. got steam rolling over their cds nobody wants to do that you know no, nobody wants to go through ha like no, no mainstream artist who's selling millions of albums wants to go through that type of career suicide as they look at it but with me i mean i've got nothing to lose you know i mean i'm independent artist i i'm and, and even if i did it's like you have a conscience you know if you know what's what if you wake up and you know what's what, you cannot continue to play the same game and still sing the same kind of crap. You know, and, and I don't have time, none of us have time to just put out more BS songs about nothing. So I mean, it's okay. It, it It's okay for a group like I mentioned, uh, Linkin Park, it's okay for them to go after the right as long as they hold on to the tenets of the left. And the same thing goes with country music, you could say. As long as they're red street uh, uh, neocons and they and they line up with that, you can keep this division game going. Even in the music industry, you can have uh, you know the NASCAR uh, dads and the soccer moms. As long as they're listening to the uh, the politically correct music or uh, have the politically correct listen to bands that have the politically correct views, they can uh, they can prosper and uh, and receive all kinds of play. Yeah, well, I mean, you have people like Bruce Springsteen, who is a very politically conscientious person, who was against everything George Bush was, wrote songs like Murder Incorporated, which was a deliberate yeah. attack on the Bush administration. Yet he sings at the inauguration of Obama and continues to support him. Why? Does he not understand that Obama is the same person, only worse? Does he not? He, he obviously doesn't get it, or he has something else that's going on there that he... he he can't come out and, and say what it, what he really wants to say. Even, yeah. uh, you know, Eddie Pearl Jam, you know, I like that guy. And he, he, he said a statement recently that he was so excited to see that Colorado and Washington passed uh, pro-marijuana legislation. But he was also excited that Obama was reelected. He doesn't understand that Obama has, led more, has, has ordered more raids on legal dispensaries than yeah. any other president ever combined. Yeah. You know, they, there's a disconnect. You know, Aaron Lewis from Stain. I know that guy. We hung out last year. And he 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 doesn't quite get it either. He I, he wants to get it. He gets a lot of it, but not all of it together. And it's putting the... That, I think that's it. I, I think that's it. People can get it. And, and you know, with uh, with either team, right, e either left or right, uh, this 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 vision we're sold, there's a, there is a little bit of truth with each one of them, but they don't... It isn't the, the whole picture. It isn't, you're not allowed to uh, have your own uh, point of view. You can believe a, l a little bit of the truth as long as we uh, wrap it around an ideology uh, and that you can uh, bow down and worship to. It's why I said, you know, it, it's uh, 
you know, even even the Christian right that uh, that would ban or or shun you, uh, you know, because you don't uh, follow suit with uh, with their train of thought or their uh, political ideology. I'm cutting you off because I'm looking at the clock here and I want to play Dragon. I know it's about six minutes long. So why don't you tell us uh, uh, what uh, was your inspiration on this song? I've not heard this one yet. Sure. Dra Dragons is a really interesting song. It's it's kind of a modern retelling of the Book of Revelation, one of the scariest pieces of literature of all time. And uh, I, I use the image of the seven-headed dragon in this song, um, you know, which is an image from the Book of Revelation, as a metaphor for the consolidation of power over the seven continents. And it, it's it's the sweeping darkness of the new world order taking over the whole world and uh, it's got some it's 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 a, it's a kind of a scary song it's pretty dark pretty heavy but uh, but has a as a, a pretty deep message to it so it's yeah it's a rocking tune let's well, well let's let's rock this tune then gary uh or brett whoever is uh, running whoever is playing this let's uh, let's roll it
Man, I love it. And, and I just put in the chat room, I love it. And somebody put in there, uh, 60s jam vibe. And it really does. I mean, that's um, some really strong guitar. Is that you on guitar? Yeah, that's me. Man, that's awesome. That's, a, that's the first time I heard it, and I definitely am going to listen again. You can listen to it, right, at uh, Jordan Page, uh, jordanpage.com, right? Jordanpagemusic.com. Music, uh, it's okay. on, like, the album's on iTunes. That's the first track of my Liberty album, which is my current record. And um, yeah, you can you can get it just about anywhere. Just just Google Jordan Page Dragons. It's on YouTube. Somebody made a video for it on YouTube. And so cool. Yeah. yeah, and and I put the I put the link in the in the chat. JordanPegMusic.com. Uh, you can uh, sample some of the music there at Music Tab. I, I love it. It was great. Um, my my audio. If you're watching, when I was trying to adjust it. I, well, as a matter of fact, I have you turned way up now. So let me turn you down here. Um, my audio was a little uh, uh, wacky on me, but uh, I really like that, uh, Jordan. Great, uh, great song. Yeah. It's right, funny because a lot of a lot of people know me as an acoustic artist because I do a lot of acoustic touring, but and and like songs like Pendulum. But you know, I'm I'm a rocker, man. I play a Les Paul with a full band. Like that's 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 what I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really did. And that was awesome. I'm I'm gonna as soon as we're done tonight, I'm gonna listen to that MP3 on your site again uh, because there's I know I missed some of the uh, some of the uh, hard rock and guitar in there, and I want to hear it again. So. All right, now we have about three minutes left. I know it's not a lot of time, and with our uh, technical issues tonight, tell me a little bit about crowdfunding campaign, how we can support your work, because obviously uh, there's going to be stone walls thrown up with you uh, through the mainstream music industry. Okay, so basically I, I, I just did an Indiegogo campaign, which is Indiegogo.com slash Jordan Page, and the, the campaign itself is over. It was 60 days. We raised about $11,000, which was pretty good. It was really great, but... There, there's there, there's a lot more that needs to come in for me to get this record done and released. I have a label. It's called Revolution Records. And in order for us to, to not just record a, a CD, I could record a CD and and or maybe a thousand people will hear it, or I could record an album and and release it the way that labels do, and that and, and have it make a huge impact. And that's what we're trying to do. So the, even though the campaign is over. There were donations from five dollars to five thousand dollars. Each donation level had a different uh, perk that's associated with it. Sometimes it's a free download of the album. Sometimes it's like a free T-shirt, things like that. And I'm extending the crowdfunding campaign. If you pay, you can PayPal the the same account that the, that the payments were going to to Jordan Page Music at Gmail dot com. That is the PayPal address, Jordan Page Music at Gmail dot com. If you'd like to to contribute. I am still honoring the perks of any of any don donations that come in after the, the campaign is over. Uh, we're trying to, to, to get enough money to support a tour, to release the album with, with lots of publicity. We're going to hire, you know, we have a publicist that I will hire to, to get it out there. And, uh, and we're, we're trying to play at military bases and get the message of freedom to the troops, to convince them not to shoot us when the time comes. <laughs> it's a great message. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, I, I work with Oath Keepers. I do, I do a lot of stuff. But uh, I, I, the guys from there making the Gray State movie directed my pitch video for an Indiegogo, and they're going to direct my the single for the first uh, the, of the first single up from the album is called Arm Yourselves, which is you know perfect for the Second Amendment issues we're dealing with right now. No and, doubt. And uh, and that that's going to cost money too. So all the money that we're raising is going toward all these things, not just recording the CD and paying for musicians and equipment and recording time. There's so much that goes into making a commercial release, and we want this one to be a, a real success, and we need your help. So if you are you like the music and you hear it, um, you can go to Indiegogo.com slash Jordan Page. The campaign is over, but you can PayPal me at JordanPageMusic at gmail.com. Include all your information, and we will get you the perks that you uh, that, that you sign up for. Okay, quickly, I, I'm, I'm slightly confused about that. Do I go to Indiegogo.com and then type in the PayPal? Jordan Pay Music uh, at gmail.com, or can I just go to PayPal and and donate that way? You you you, you can just you no know, you can't you can't donate anymore from Indiegogo because that's over. But you can go okay. there to see the video and to see the to see all the comments and all the videos that I posted in association with it. But you go to PayPal.com. You can use your credit card, or bank card, or whatever you'd like, or your PayPal account. And the address to, to PayPal to is Jordan Page Music at gmail.com. The Indiegogo page is no longer accepting gotcha. donations because that is over, but I'm extending accepting donations until we reach enough enough to get this thing done. So we raised right. about 11000 
yeah, so we'd like to, to try to do some more. Yeah, so you're going to go there to see what the perks are for the donations, but you're going to go to PayPal. Uh, Jordan Page Music at gmail.com is, uh, is the PayPal account. Guys, let's support Jordan because, uh, you know what, uh, he, th this, is, uh, this is how we're going to get the message out, especially uh, to a lot of the kids uh, who are, you know, the 50% the in 2011 had to move back home with mom and dad out of college. This is the uh, people that uh, Jordan is, uh, is going to impact. Jordan Page, thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on here and sharing your talent with us. And I apologize hey, thanks, for all the Charlie. technical really glitches. It, you. <laughs> you bet. We'll get you on again. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some of the technical stuff worked out. We'll get you on again. Uh, promote your new album when uh, when it's released uh, and just uh, catch up with you. Thank you very much for coming on. Great. Thank you, guys. You bet. Guys, uh, please enjoy Jeff Rince because he is coming up next. We will see you tomorrow night uh, with uh, Greg Manorino. And, uh, of course, we have uh, Sidmel Edmonds coming on the second hour. It's going to be a fantastic program. We'll see you there. Enjoy, Jeff. He's next. Peace.